So there is this really popular program called Windhawk. This is probably one of the best Windows customizer. It's completely free. Using this, you can completely change the look of Windows 11's start menu, taskbar, and it uses something called mods. And in this video, I want to show you guys this mod called taskbar clock customization. Originally, this was to customize the Windows 11's taskbar clock, but now you can add more system information to it, like download and upload speed, CPU and RAM usage, weather, and much more. Take a look at my taskbar clock here. Now with that mod, check this out. I have time and date, RAM and CPU usage, and download and upload speed. To download this software, go to the official website. This is windhawk.net. You can go here and click on download and just install it. Once you install it, open it and go to explore and look for this taskbar clock customization. Install it. Once you install it, go home and you'll see the installed mods section. Here, click on details and in details, you can see how you can customize uh, the clock section in Windows 11. It's no longer a clock only customization because you can add more things to it. Like you can have date, and time and you can add weather and you can also add system information like ram and cpu usage and also download and upload speed and if you go into settings here you can change whatever you want like you don't want to have a time maybe you just want a, a cpu and ram usage yeah you can have that here so let me give you guys a tutorial uh, this might be a little bit confusing for the new users because there is no presets unlike other mods. Using this is also pretty simple actually. So what I want you guys to do is copy this description from the details page. Uh, press Control C to copy because right click doesn't work and open the notepad. Okay, and paste it. Or if you can, you can remember all these things if you want to waste your memory. Okay, I'm just gonna simply copy everything here. <laughs> okay, and you can see you can also customize the fonts and colors if you want to. You you want to make the clock section stand out. Yeah, you can do that too. So now go to settings here at the top time format. You can change that to whatever you want. Uh, let's say I want to have the 24 hour clock. Now you can see there is no AM or PM because uh, it is now switched to 24 hours clock. Okay, you can also change the date format. And there are two section. Okay, we have top line, which is the top line. Okay, there are two rows you can see. Top row is for time and date. In bottom row, I have added the CPU and RAM usage and uh, download and upload speed. But you can add these things to wherever you want. If you want to empty uh, the top row, you can also empty that let's say you don't want the date on the taskbar you can delete that save changes now the date is gone there is only time you don't want to have time yeah just delete it goodbye time now there is only uh, the cpu ram and internet download and upload speed so basically you can add these things let's say you want to add the weather you can copy this or you can do percentage weather percentage okay let's add this to the top line okay i'm just gonna do that save changes and it says loading and you can see now i have weather information here you can see uh, it's cloudy probably gonna rain soon it's 26 degrees celsius and okay you know that information okay i don't think i need to read all that so basically you can customize it however you want you can add other system information like ram and cpu usage download and upload speed you can give them a name if you don't want to have a name let's say i want to remove the ram and cpu from the uh percentage ram and cpu thingy okay i'm gonna delete that and you can see now there are only percentage but it can be confusing so you can let's say for ram i'm gonna do r for cpu i'm gonna do c okay you can put whatever you want here okay whatever you want maybe you want to have just your name here let's say kb yeah that's it <laughs> i can do that and here is the name or whatever you want to add maybe small message or something uh, or useful information like system information or something 
okay so let's move download and upload speed let's say to the top i can do that i'm gonna save it now at the top i have download and upload speed and again you can give them whatever name you want so i have the u and d for the download and upload speed you can also add web content maybe something like the newsletter from some website maybe you have subscribed to rss you can add that and you can also add the custom weather location if you want to just put the name in here of any city okay and uh, you can also change the weather format and you can also change the text color let's say for example i want to have red in here i'm gonna put that there and i'm gonna click on save now you can see the top line is red so you can also do that for bottom line you can also change the font if you want to and there are many other settings that you can change and customize so this is actually pretty cool and pretty simple to use simply enter one of these commands in here in bottom line or top line okay and that's it and one more thing i actually use another software to show the system information on my taskbar uh, it is called traffic monitor this is a free and open source software at github because this lets you choose where you want to put these information to the left or right so i have this on the left side and there is the download and upload speed uh, cpn memory usage and also the temperature so sadly uh, in the windhawk mod there is no temperature monitoring thingy uh, but if you don't want the temperature monitoring thingy yeah i mean that thing is still good and if you want to you know customize the clock section windhawk is probably better but yeah this one is also really cool because again it shows you the temperature and yeah that's it with this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye bye